Thanks for subscribing to the channel, guys. Hitting that notification bell to stay updated and sharing with the people that you know. We're now waking up in the morning and seeing everything related to cases. Are we not? It's crazy about cases at the minute. Every news article, every media outlet are all talking about the same thing. Cases, increasing cases, spikes in cases. Cases are going to cause the second wave. And what is going to cause the cases in the second wave? You. It's your fault now. It's your fault because you haven't been taking it seriously enough. We relaxed too much in the summer, apparently. Are they serious? Have they actually left their homes or their mansions or wherever it is that they crawl out of and spoken to anybody in public? or seen anybody in society? Have they seen the terror behind people's eyes as they're masked up? Have they spoken to the people who are taking their shopping home and scrubbing their packaging and their tins because they're so terrified the virus is on it? Have they spoken to the family members who have family and friends who are dying from things like cancer and diseases and not getting treated for it? Have they spoken to the people who have not been able to visit their loved ones in hospital, children dying in hospital beds, not able to have the loved ones around them because they're not allowed in the hospital? Have they spoken to the jobless, the homeless, the people who aren't able to go and say goodbye to their loved ones because of the limited numbers allowed at funerals? And we're not taking it seriously. It boils my piss when I read tweets like this from an MP who said another 3,000 coronavirus cases today. The government must now admit it has got this wrong. It's rushed to pretend everything is normal again. is harming public health and the economy. It must change track and go for zero COVID. Otherwise, it's going to risk a deadly second wave. Zero COVID. Somebody's got to try and explain this one to me. What was zero COVID? So the, the principle is that we don't go back to any form of normality until we have zero COVID cases. Well, that's a really interesting concept, isn't it? But how exactly does that one work then? It's a little bit like saying we don't go back to normal until we have zero flu cases zero TB cases, zero HIV cases. We ignore quality of life and common sense and just keep going with the science stats and facts that we should all be aiming for zero COVID. But hey, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a professor, what do I know? But I do read the BMJ, which is a magazine that all the doctors read, uh, do it on a regular basis. And they've got an article in here and there is actually a professor in here from an article called COVID-19, the problems with case counting. This professor is called Carl Hennigan. I've mentioned him previously. He's one of the very few professors in the world today. He's the director of the Center for Evidence-Based Medicine at the University of Oxford. He's one of the very few professors that's actually saying things that make sense. We actually owe him a lot of gratitude from what I'm hearing about cases and testing and the, some of the challenges he's been making. To quote, he says, we are moving into a biotech world where the norms of clinical reasoning are going out of the window. A PCR test does not equal COVID-19. It should not, but in some definitions, it does. In other words, do you know what a case is? We could be forgiven for thinking that a case is a death, especially the way it's been reported recently, right? Or a case is somebody lying in the hospital bed, right? That's not the true definition the definition of a case is actually relatively flexible. It can mean many different things. And when you set up testing stations in certain areas and you start blaming the young for now spreading this and them being the problem for the spike in cases, what's that really down to? Well, you set up testing facilities in certain areas, you test more, you find more cases, whatever is defined by a case. You find more cases, and you get second waves and you lock down. There isn't a lot of critical thinking taking place or decent questions, but here is a very good question. Thanks for supporting this channel by checking out the links in the description, hitting the notification bell and the subscribe button, not necessarily in that order to stay updated, sharing with the people that you know, and the best place to stay in touch is on the website, carlvernon.com. Ta-ta.